Up next is our country boys, Team Eddie. They were the fastest team in round one. We'll see if they can do it again. Eddie does tracking. He's a drug dog. We've assisted not only the sheriff's office, but the drug unit, the U.S. Marshals. Anytime somebody is looking for some guy that's done something bad, they call me and Eddie because they know he can get the job done. These guys mean business, don't they? Yep. And Eddie's done scent detection competitions before, but coming from a small town, he may have less drug detection experience in the field than other canines. Eddie wearing the badge of Deputy Thompson's friend and mentor. Will the extra motivation give them an edge? And here goes Team okay. Eddie. First is the bedroom, where the scent is on the alarm clock. Eddie's trained to do active alerts, like bumping the item with his nose when he detects the scent. Deputy Thompson is using a detailed search, pointing to items he wants Eddie to check. That's an alert, knocked it over, but also goes into a sit and looks at the handler. Green light means it's correct. One down. Into the bathroom. Not exactly where I'd want to sniff around. They're searching for the scent on the soap dispenser. Deputy Thompson is working fast with the detailed search. They're covering lots of ground, but risk missing something. How's that for an alert? He threw it on the floor. You're such a show off, Eddie. Two in less than two minutes. Now they're in the living room. About 30 items, and the scent is on the napkin basket. Yeah, they're moving really fast, but also working accurately. I haven't seen a false alert yet. Eddie might have been faster searching this room on his own. The napkin holder is right there in the middle. There it is, the active alert. It looked like Eddie wanted to eat that thing. Wow, they found three items in less than two and a half minutes. They're on target to sweep the boneyard. Next is the storage room, one of our most difficult, with 32 shelves, almost 50 items. Another fast, detailed search, and there's the alert. Wow, these guys are bringing it. Another correct item. In just over three and a half minutes, only one more item and more than a minute to find it. The locker room is the most difficult with 36 lockers spread across two walls and a whole lot of sweat stains. Nine, nine, check right here, check right here. Oh, check right here. Come on, check right here. Deputy Thompson taking a risk and switching strategies, going off leash and letting him search on his own. Will the risk pay off? They're nowhere near the club. Check right here. Check right here, check right here. Oh, man, the clock's ticking down. Ten seconds left. Oh, they're so close. Come on, Eddie. Smell the glove. They're on top of it. There's the alert. Will they get all five? He's got the glove. Oh, no. That was so close, Kurt. He was right there at the last second. Our country boys, Team Eddie, missed out on a perfect score by less than a second. But four items puts them on top and knocks Team Kuma into second place. Todd and Eddie, how would you assess his performance there? He done great. He's got a fantastic nose on him anyway. He does great on older work. The country boys leading the way right now. While our next two teams rev up their sniffers to take on the Boneyard, we're squeezing in a quick break. Who will be the two finalists? Can senior team Cam or live PD rescue team Yago knock them out of the competition? It's all next, right here on America's Top Dog. And we're back.